Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Today we're going to talk a little bit about single family versus duplexes versus accessory dwellings and what does each of these mean? You know, these are terms that you hear kind of thrown around a bit in real estate. We're going to dive today a little bit into exactly what each of them means. A single family dwelling unit is as the name implies. It's a structure that is just for one family or one household. In other words, it usually means a building that is not attached to any other building, and it's usually a residential structure where only one family lives. Most common, you know, a place like the United States, you would see these in subdivisions, you know, or or out in the suburbs where, you, you know, each family has basically a home and they have a plot of land and one family lives on the home with their land and they're not attached to any other building or structure. This is very different than kind of a duplex. A duplex is a building that's horizontally divided. You know, usually your know, duplexes are connected together. So, you know, they could share like a front porch and there could be, you know, a door on on either side and one family goes in on one side, one family goes on the other side, and basically essentially they would share the same house, but it'd be two families or two occupants in the same house. You know, the entrance of a duplex can be on the outside or through a shared duplex entrance. But the main thing about duplexes is that there's two separate entrances and the building has a common wall on one lot of land. So that's really how you can define a duplex. There would be a You know, there'd be common land, there'd be one common wall that would be shared between the two different living quarters, and normally they will share some type of entrance. If there are three or four units on the same plot of land, they would be called a triplex or a quad. So, you know, actually if there's three or four, it's a triplex or a quad, but a duplex is basically for two. An accessory dwelling unit is is actually very different than this, is also known as an ADU. And these have become more popular, especially since the era of COVID, where people started building them in order for them to have, you know, a workspace or an office or have a place for someone else to live. So So an ADU or an accessory dwelling unit is a legal and regulatory term for a secondary home or apartment that shares the same building lot of a primary home. So in other words, it essentially is a smaller home or a smaller unit, which is on the same land as a primary home. The idea is that the accessory dwelling unit is part of the larger primary home or the single family dwelling unit. The accessory dwelling unit cannot be bought or sold separately from the larger single dwelling unit. Now, this really is the key with all of this, is that you your accessory dwelling unit needs to go together with the larger single dwelling unit. You know, an accessory dwelling unit can be a guest house or detached garage with a rental apartment above it. Those would all be considered an accessory dwelling unit. Also, too, what's very important about these accessory dwelling units is that they can have different zoning laws where some areas may allow them, other areas may not allow them. This really, again, depends upon where you live, what the zoning is, and what the regulations are. So even though you can legally own a property outright, it doesn't mean necessarily that your zoning would give you the right to have an accessories dwelling unit. That will all really depend upon the zoning and the area you live. There's many reasons why somebody might have an accessory dwelling unit. Could be a home for an elderly relative, a rental or income, an Airbnb, a guest house, or a home office are usually some of the main reasons why somebody might have an accessory dwelling unit on their property. If you would like to find out more about an accessory dwelling unit, a duplex or an accessory dwelling unit explained in more detail, we have a blog post that we'll put the link into the description so that you'll be able to read the blog if you'd like to be able to understand more. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly do appreciate you joining with us today. And give us a a thumbs up or a like. That really does help, and we really do appreciate that. Also... We'd like to thank our team, especially Rico helps put this together. Thank you so much. 